welcome back to the build guys today we're going to install the countertop so I've got everything varnished up where I think I need it uh, so I can move on and uh, we'll go ahead and get things pre-drilled put the countertop in and get it secured before we start making our cabinets but before we do that I need to show you a slight modification that I made and then uh, once we get the countertop installed I'll show you something else so I made a slight modification over here as far as where the stove is and where my storage shelf is going to be uh, originally I had planned putting the stove on the top and storage shelf on the bottom but as I pulled out the shelf I realized that the burner well the burner this part set about that far next to the countertop once it would be installed. So I thought that was dangerously too close and uh, wouldn't want to be burning this thing up first day out making a cup of coffee. So I swapped it out. I put the uh, drawer lights for the 16 inch on our stove box here. Put that on the bottom. Put our glides for a 14 inch tray here on the top and that works out great so put the stove on the bottom tray on top the counter is going to go right here so we've got ample storage we've got our stove and then we've got our storage below so that was the little modification I made also let me give you a close-up so for the front of my uh, drawer for the stove I had a piece of three quarter inch mahogany stock about four and three quarters inches high that I made flush with the bottom overhung just a little bit about seven sixteenths on each side and fasten it from the inside just like a drawer facing and uh, I think that looks pretty good in there hides the stove a little bit makes it look nice matches everything else so I think it's gonna be a pretty good setup and I think when I get ready to plumb this, then I'll be able to actually come out the side here, put the hose to the tank, voila, we're cooking bacon. All right, let's get on with the countertop. So currently we have our countertop. It's sitting upside down. I wanted to make sure that I varnished everything uh, on the bottom side before we installed it because it's pretty hard to uh, varnish while it's upside down. So. I've got this nice and varnished now, it's nice and smooth, and feels good. So next is to uh, pre-drill our holes on the side of the trailer. We'll set this in place, we'll get it fastened through the side, and, uh, and then we'll attach it to our bulkhead, and the countertop will be done. So in order to attach the countertop, I've already got my ends drawn, and a line where the top of the countertop should be and it stretches all the way down to the end and next we're going to mark where the middle of our plywood is we're going to go ahead and pre-drill holes and then we'll, from the outside we'll drill those and countersink those get our countertop in place and fasten those from the outside then we'll come back in get our distance from the front to the back mark our center line and then we'll attach this down to the top here this section will be hidden by cabinets that will be up in here so you won't see the screws unless you open the cabinets and it will give it a nice clean look and then uh, once that's all installed next step would be to build the cabinets that we're going to be putting inside so let's get the countertop installed all right, so to get my center line for my countertop where I need to pre-drill the holes, I've got my support stick sitting here on the inside taped against the wall. I've got me a little batten. It's 3 8 of an inch thick, which gives me the right thickness for the uh, 3 quarter inch plywood. I'm going to set that on there, take my straight edge, make sure that we line up with our marks, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and clamp this one in, go around and tape my straight edge, make sure that it lines up on my mark, 
and just so it doesn't fall down, I'm just going to tape the edge here. And then when I get ready to draw the line, I'll pull out my 3 8 stick, scribe a line underneath, that'll be our center line. One little mark on the other side. Now we've got a mark for our center line. So from the end of our plywood, I'm going to measure back an inch on both ends, pre drill those holes. And then I think my spacing is going to be about three inches in between and uh, get them evened out. And then we can get it fastened on. So along my line, I ticked off my three inch marks. That's going to be enough to hold that counter in there and plenty of weight. So uh, next is to get these pre drilled. Both sides are ticked off. And I don't mean they're mad. <laughs> So let's get those pre-drilled. So once we pre-drill our holes from the inside, then we're going to come back and we're going to use a pilot hole and uh, drill through here and just countersink it just slight. That way when we put our wood in, put our screws in, that they sink flush with or below the surface of our plywood here. So let's get that going. Nice and pretty. Alright, so we got the countertop setting in place and now we're ready to uh, start fastening along each side and then we'll come along and fasten across the top and then that front brace right here. So everything is kind of looking good at the moment. Got my support sticks here and then when we get ready we'll push down on that and make sure we get it nice and uh, flat where we need it to be. Alright so according to your drawing you should be 14 and 7 eighths to the back wall to the front edge. In my case I was an eighth of an inch off, so I'm just uh, about 15 inches, maybe a hair over, almost a sixteenth. So I've got my mark where I want it lined up. I think we're going to call that one good. Double check your measurements. Yep. Got my screw in place. Let's fasten it down. Alright, one corner, then we'll go ahead and do the other side, do all four corners, and then make sure everything's nice and level, and then we'll go ahead and run all the screws. We'll be done. Alright, so we've got our countertop setting in place. I already pre drilled all the holes on the side, and I ran the screws in, so now it's nice and solid. I have the pocket holes for the brace here in the center. Those are all fastened. And now I'm getting ready just to fasten it down on the bulkhead here, the divider between the cabin and the galley. And uh, for that, I'm just using a number eight by one and three quarter wood screw, brass. We'll countersink those ever so slightly and uh, make those flush with the top. And then that section is done. Then there's one more bulkhead that we have to put in place before we can actually install cabinets. So let me go ahead and get these pre-drilled. We'll get those fastened and then we can call this countertop done. Alright, now that our countertop is set in place, it's screw fastened down, this baby isn't going anywhere. Now would be a good time to compare some measurements with our drawings to make sure that we are where we need to be. So we know that the height from our bottom here to the top 
the underside of the counter should be 15 inches. So if you take a measurement, 15 inches. And we know that the inside dimension is 46 and a half. 46 and a half. Now, my back wall, because I made a mistake and uh, cut a dimension about an eighth to a three sixteenths too long, that pushed my bulkhead back. But according to our drawing, you should be 14 and 7 eighths inches from the back wall to the face of your countertop. In my case, I have just a hair over a 15, so 15 and 30 seconds, so about an eighth of an inch, which means everything's moved that way. So on the back side, your dimension, according to our drawing, we'll take a look at all this here in a minute, you should have 18 inches. Well, I have 17 and 7 eighths because my wall is pushed back, so I lost a little bit. But it's always good to double check your dimensions to make sure that everything is still in its place where it should be. And then, uh, as I've got all my cabinetry and rails in there, I like to, I don't know, I like symmetry. And I want to make sure that the dimension I have here, which is 2 and 5 eighths, and I've got 2 and 5 eighths. So, that tells me everything is level and smooth and uh, where it should be. Alright, next we'll take a look at some other drawings and uh, show you what else I have. Talk about what we need to do next and then we'll be doing it. Alright, stay tuned for a second. So, three measurements that you do want to check is you should have 15 inches from the bottom of your storage compartment here to the underside of your countertop, 15 inches. Then you should have 14 and 7 eighths from the back wall to the very front of your countertop. And you should have 18 inches from the back wall to the end of your countertop inside. Um, as long as you got that, then you're, uh, you're smoking. So, we're good to go. Let's take a look at something else. So, as we get farther along in the build, we'll eventually have our cabinets in place and then, we, uh, then we're about ready to set this on a trailer. And so, I have uh, plans for the trailer frame. Um, this is the shape that I'm going to use. I've got some dog ears here on the side in which the axle is going to mount to. And uh, I give all the dimensions, locations of where the tabs are going to be. And also location of where all the uh, braces are going to be. And then there's one more drawing which shows the individual pieces, the lengths, and uh, the angles that you need to cut at. So all the work is done for you. All you need to do if you're a welder is cut the steel and weld it, or you give it to somebody to fab it up for you, and uh, they will create the frame for you. <laughs> all right, now that I've shown you the plans for the trailer, and if it's windy, eh, we're outside. So that I've shown you the plans for the trailer, now it's time for the unveiling. And according to our plans, we have a trailer frame. Try to block the wind as much as I can on here, but here is the frame, and uh, exactly according to our plans. So I'm not going to pull any dimensions for you right now, but uh, these here are what we'll uh, use to bolt through to our cabin. This area here will be putting stabilizer jacks. And then this section here is what we'll be bolting our axle to. And uh, drill some holes here, run the bolts through, support the axle. So that's our trailer frame. All ready to go. A little bit of grinding on some welds. 
save myself some money by doing it myself and then uh, get some paint on it hey we're about ready to be on the road so I think we're gonna call that a wrap on this video so we've got a little bit accomplished we went ahead and uh, got our countertop varnished we've got everything in the back varnished and put in place and we installed the countertop that was a plus and also uh, excited to see the frame so that's in the works next thing to do is a little bit of grinding on that some painting and then put the axle on hey we're about ready to set the cabin on the uh, trailer frame and move it in and out of the garage so if you're just tuning in thank you uh, for stopping by and watching the build if you're following along hopefully uh, you're in the process of building your own and this is where you should be. So the back galley section should be complete and you should have a countertop sitting in here and uh, be ready to install some cabinetry at this point. So that'll be our next task is we have one more bulkhead that we're going to put in here in the top. That'll divide the interior from the exterior. On the galley side we have a set of cabinetry that we're going to be installing and on the inside up top we're also going to be installing some cabinetry there. So that's in the future, and that'll be uh, coming up. So until then, I hope uh, you enjoyed the videos. Stay tuned.